Okay, hello again. Um, I'm back with the 2008 um, 100 mark cash flow statement and this time uh, I'm doing the first bit of part A2 which is the first reconciliation statement. So I filled in a few little bits to make this a little bit quicker because some of this is uh, stuff that you all know so we don't have to uh, go over that ground again. So again, title, um, reconciliation of operating profit to net cash flow from operating activities and the operating profit is... Uh, just the operating profit you take from that profit and loss extract that you created in the first part of the question. Okay, um, Then I've filled in the increase in stock, increase in debtors and decrease in creditors because you know that already and I'm just going to go through the dep depreciation and the profit on the sale of the fixed asset. So let's have a look at the depreciation first. So in this case if we go down to the additional information what does it tell us? It tells us that in part two, fixed assets which cost 60000 and on which a total depreciation of 30000 had been provided were sold for 40000 So from that, if we're concentrating on the depreciation side of it, um, it says you got rid of an asset which we had already uh, provided for 30000 worth of depreciation on, or we had devalued by 30000 So that means when we do it, got rid of it during the year, we must have taken 30000 depreciation from our, um, well, from our ledger depreciation account and ultimately from what goes into the um, balance sheet. So if we look at the depreciation figures uh, from 2006 and 2007, we see that it went from 100000 up to or 220000 rather. So that looks like an increase of 120000 uh, but we already know that there was 30,000 worth of depreciation removed. So in actual fact, if we account for that 30,000 that was removed, we know that there was an increase of 150,000. That's the 120 here plus the 30,000. So if you like, uh, there was depreciation of 150, which made the 100,000 in 2006 go up to 250. But then because we removed or disposed of that asset, it went from 250 back down to 220. It went down by 30,000. So over here, we'll put in that depreciation, 150,000. And as always, we're adding it. Okay. And then there's just the profit on the sale of the fixed asset. And if we have a look over here, what does it say? When it focuses... Ah, there we go. Fixed assets which cost 60000 and which total depreciation of 30000 had been provided, which means if they cost sixty and we depreciated them by 30000 on our books, then the net book value in our books was 60 minus 30, which is 30000 We sold them for 40000 so we sold them at a profit of 10000 So over here, the profit was 10000 And if it's a profit, we're subtracting it, aren't we? And hopefully um, that gives us a figure of 108,000. One last thing to say before I sign off here. Um, that's about as much as you get in the first reconciliation statement in the 60 mark questions we were doing. But you'll see some other um, items cropping up now in the first reconciliation statement of the 100 mark questions. Uh, some of them will be like, for instance, oh yes, if there was an increase or a decrease in the provision for bad debts that would um, affect this first reconciliation statement. And if it was an increase in the provision for bad debts, you know that in the um, trading profit and loss, that goes down as a minus, as an expense, if you like. It reduces the profit. And so just like depreciation here, you would um, add it on. So add an increase in um, provision for depreciation. And the opposite then, if there was a decrease in the provision for depreciation, goes into the trading profit and loss as a gain, which increases profit, so we would subtract it here in this reconciliation statement. Um, same goes for if you're writing off goodwill. Okay, We treat it like an expense, so if you've written off some goodwill during the year, it reduces profit, but we add it on uh, in this reconciliation statement. Um, let me think if there's anything else off the top of my head. Well, we won't, probably won't see this in the leaving cert ones, but there, um, if there's an increase or decrease in expenses due, we'll, we'll come to that in later questions and we'll talk about it then.